Uh, our next uh, speaker is from the Mana Party. Um, she is easily one of my favouritest politicians in the country, quite frankly. Uh, she will win the seat of Wairiki in six months' time. Ladies and gentlemen, Annette Sykes from Mana. Kia ora no tātou hui hui mai nei i runga te kaupapa o te rā nei. Uh, koutou mā o Ngāti Pātua i manāki nei tēnei whenua rangatira o tātou o Aotearoa tēnā koutou. Koutou hoki ngā uh, manuhiri tai mai mai tā wāhi ki te whakanui te kaupapa o te rā nei tēnā koutou. Um, I'm here in my official capacity as uh, mana president. I am a practitioner of 30 years experience in the criminal courts. I'm a treaty rights activist and as part of a movement that protects the rights and advances the needs of marginalised communities, I think our position and starting point on this whole issue comes from a different kind of impact and that has informed us in the kind of policy initiatives that we can't announce today but will be announced following our AGM once our members have approved the draft policy, but I will highlight some of those aspects. The reality um, in this whole drug reform uh, uh, situation for us in mana is the reality that Māori are seven times more likely to be racially profiled and arrested on cannabis-related offences. As a result of that arrest, they end up in terms of incarceration not for possession of cannabis, but for breach of bail or failure to adhere to appearance requirements in court. Following a term of incarceration, it is very unlikely that the health needs of any perceived or actual problem are special conditions of parole. So therefore, when we start on a particular policy like this one, we want to see how the mass incarceration of Māori and Pacific Island people are going to be alleviated in the kinds of reforms that are being pro proposed. The second issue is that the treaty is fundamental in the founding of our movement. So when we started on the cannabis reform issue, we looked to how cannabis was invited into the communities in this country, and amazingly, Queen Victoria again, who was so pivotal in the treaty, was the person that had suggested to the nuns of the Upper Whanganui River that they bring cannabis into that community to assist in rongoa as a period pain alleviation for stress and harm. So um, for us in our developing of a policy, uh, we then said that for those kinds of substances to become part of our communities, there must be seen to be some well-being or health benefit from that, and we need to balance any policy against the fact that there can actually be negative and um, ill health outcomes, like um, the great consumption of tobacco and alcohol, like the great consumption of fast foods, that will need some regulation to ensure that those communities are not negatively impacted upon. So our um, starting point has been that, and I'm pleased to say at present, we are very much in favour of cannabis for medicinal purposes, and that is the present part of our policy. Now moving to the Psychoactive Substances Bill, and I hope after this con conference I don't, my nickname Cyclone doesn't end up being psycho. Um, one of the key issues that um, we are really concerned about is the fact that the legalisation of legal highs has actually made it available to communities that have less education about the impacts of overuse of those legal highs. So you will see mana at the forefront, not just of council um, prohibition of those legal highs, but preventing the sale of it, and then the on-sale um, on and underground distribution networks that aren't legal, that are part of the underground economy, which actually participates and makes up poor communities. So we have been at the front of prohibition of those where we have seen the profit incentive are not balanced against the need to ensure the well-being of our communities. Finally, in terms of our proposal, um, I, I, I personally am in favour of decriminalisation, I want to say that, but that is a raging debate amongst us in our movement. 
What I can say is that we will be guided by our members and our communities on that issue, but as a starting point, te oranga o te tangata, the well-being of the individual and the family will be our guiding value. Kia ora.